What's up, church family? Thank you guys so much for joining me for our Devo this week. Um, this week we are going to be in Luke chapter 9, um, starting in verse 10. And honestly, the very first verse really, um, really hit home with me. And so let's get into it. It says this, On their return, the apostles told him all they had done, and he took them and withdrew apart to a town called Bethsaida. Now, for a little bit of context here, this is right before Jesus is about to feed the 5,000. Um, and this is right after the apostles had just been sent out to share the gospel. And so let's look in Luke chapter 9, verse 1 and 2. It says this, And he called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. So, as I read chapter 10, that kind of put a new little bit of uh, context into play because um, Luke 9 verse 10 says, On their return, the apostles told him all that they had done. Um, not all that had happened, not all that had occurred, but all that they, the apostles, had done. Um, and there are too many times where uh, I feel like I do the same thing. You know, the apostles, they they forget that when Jesus called him, that Jesus gave them power and authority over all demons. They didn't, they didn't just have that power and authority. It was given to them by Jesus. And so many times I look and I say, you know what, Jesus, look at what I've done for you. I've done this for you and I've done that for you. Um, instead of Jesus, thank you so much for, for giving me these gifts and these talents to glorify you. And um, we see later on as Jesus feeds the 5,000, it, it comes back to bite him a little bit. And so um, a rundown on Jesus feeding the 5,000. We see in, ver in verse 10 that um, they're trying to, to head out to Bethsaida and, and to withdraw a little bit. But there's 5,000 people, 5,000 men waiting on Jesus to, um, to heal people and to teach them. And so as they're there, um, the disciples say, you know what, Jesus, it's starting to get late. We should, um, we should go send them out, send them home so that they can have food, um, so that they can get rest. And um, verse 13 um, is a great verse. It says this, But he, he being Jesus, said to them, You give them something to eat. They said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go and buy food for all these people. Now, the reason I love this verse is because it reminds me of verse 10, where the disciples had come back and shared all that they had done. Jesus then in turn, in verse 13, says, All right, well, since you have done all of this, you can feed the 5,000. And it's a humbling experience for us, because at least for me, there are times where I say, God, look at what I've done for you. Look at what I've done. I've done this and I've done that. And, and not necessarily been like, Lord, you've given me these gifts and these talents. And then in turn, it's all right, well, you go do this or you go do that. And it's like, but, but, but God, that's an impossible task. And that's exactly what Jesus does here. The disciples come back after being empowered by Jesus. And, um, and they say, Jesus, look at what we've done. We've done all of these things. And, and they completely miss the point. And so whenever they say, Jesus, send them home. He says, all right, well, if you have all this power, then you feed them. And, and they're saying, this is impossible, Jesus. We can't do this. And later we see Jesus blessing the fish, blessing the bread, and having 12 baskets left over. And this is just a reminder for us that Jesus is the one with the power. Jesus is the one that gets the glory. We can't do it without him. And, and that should be an encouragement for us. And, and it should lighten our load because we don't have to do it on our own. Jesus is here for us. Jesus empowers us, and in turn, he gets the glory for that. And so as we go out this week, I pray that we can keep that in mind and be encouraged by that, and that Jesus has given us talents. Jesus has given us gifts, and in turn, we get to glorify him with those talents and gifts that he has given to us. So I hope you guys have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you guys either Wednesday or Sunday.